Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States of America. Be seated, please. <clears throat> Mr. Secretary, General S. Marlin, all of our distinguished guests on this occasion, I have been honored many times since assuming the office of Presidency of the United States, but I can say from my heart that the day is the highest honor. The highest honor because I have the, for the first time, the privilege of representing the United States of America and presenting the Congressional Medal of Honor to two of our three of our fine young men who have fought for the cause of freedom and the cause of peace in Vietnam. The citations will be read by the Secretary of Army and they will tell us better than any words I could utter what these men have done beyond the call of duty. I would like to add just a personal word, a word that I think all of the American people would join me in. Uh, we really cannot honor these men, but they have honored America. They have added to the honor of the nation by what they have done. They share several things in common. They are men who risk their lives for their fellow men. They are men who face death, and instead of losing their courage, they gave courage to the men around them. And finally, they are young men. The oldest man is 30. And <laughs> I guess we can say Sergeant Sasser is 30, and Sergeant Zabotowski is 26. And Specialist Sasser, or Specialist Hooper, is uh, 21. And that leads me to uh, give you a conclusion that I reached after studying all of the Congressional Medal of Honor winners in this war. Their average age is 27, which brings home a thought that we must always remember. When we think of America's younger generation, uh, we sometimes have a tendency to emphasize what's wrong with them. And sometimes uh, young people do get into trouble. Sometimes they do not follow the patterns that older people think they ought to follow. But in the magnificent records of these three young men, they've demonstrated to us that uh, we can be very proud of our younger generation. They are magnificent men, magnificent in their idealism. Idealism is often shown by words, but they have demonstrated their idealism by their deeds. And because they have made us proud of being Americans and also reminded us that we should be proud of our younger generation, the youth of America, I'm honored to be here with them. 